guys welcome back to my channel and if you're new here then welcome in today's video we're going to be doing a deep fridge cleaning and so i'm going to remove everything from my fridge clean everything on the interior of my fridge so i'm not going to make this intro long we are going to go ahead and get right into it and i'm going to start off by taking everything out of my fridge all right let's go ahead and get started so I'm just going to show you guys what we're starting off with. I have a lot of stuff in my fridge that I need to remove and most likely I will be discarding some of the stuff as well. Um, so it, my fridge will be a little bit emptier when we're done, but this is what we're starting with and I'm just going to go ahead and start pulling every single thing out of my fridge. Okay, so I just emptied everything out of my fridge and I'm just showing you guys the before. Even though I didn't think my fridge was that dirty, after I took everything out, I was like paying more attention to how dirty my fridge was and there's stuff everywhere. These drawers are dirty and the shelves are pretty dirty too. This drawer had something obviously spill at the bottom and I did not even notice because there was just so much stuff in the drawer. So this is exactly why I like to clean out my fridge because it's really hard to tell how dirty it is while you have everything in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and move on to the next step, which is removing a lot of the stuff from the fridge that I want to actually wash in the sink. I don't normally remove the actual shelves when I'm just doing like a cleaning, but um, usually like once a year in the springtime, I'll actually take the shelves out and wash them, but we're not gonna be doing that in this video. I'm removing um, a bunch of the stuff, but just not the shelves. So I'm gonna start by taking out these little holders in the doors. And then I'm also gonna take out the two like vegetable crisper drawers um, and all of that I'm gonna wash in the sink. Um, and then I will show you guys what I do next. So I like to pre-treat the inside of the fridge so I've left the shelves in and the big drawer at the bottom. I like to pre-treat everything by sprinkling some baking soda all over the surface and then once you've sprinkled the baking soda everywhere that you want it, I would recommend spraying a mixture of dish soap and vinegar. Just you can mix it in any spray bottle you have. I just have this old bottle of Mrs. Meyers spray um, and I'm spraying it everywhere that I sprinkled the baking soda just to let that do its thing while I wash these um, other little shelves in the sink. How I'm washing these in the sink is just extremely basic warm soapy water and I'm using my scrub mommy sponge just to get in all the little nooks and crevices of these shelves and then I'm rinsing them and letting them air dry. 
Scrub Daddy did send me quite a few products a little while ago to try out and I really like using these sponges because they are odor resistant and so for dirtier jobs like this I don't have to worry about ruining my sponge. You'll see coming up that I actually scrub the inside of the fridge using one of their other sponges that is made out of the same material on the one side and um, it's just really ideal for uh, scrubbing and not scratching any of your appliances or dishes. So now that I'm done washing everything in the sink, I'm just gonna go back into the fridge where we allowed the baking soda and dish soap and vinegar to sort of sit for a little while. And I'm just going back in with the same spray just to re-wet the surface and taking my Scrub Daddy sponge and just scrubbing everything down really well. Look at all the dirt that it picked up. I also sometimes will grab a toothbrush and just get right into the corners of everything because sometimes you can have little crumbs and stuff that fall down there. The toothbrush is also a really good tool to use to clean the like rubber seal around the doors of your fridge as well. And then anywhere that we didn't sprinkle baking soda, you can still clean just using the dish soap and vinegar spray and your sponge. So that is what I'm going to do to the rest of the fridge before we wipe everything down. To dry everything and wipe everything down, I am just using a microfiber towel and making sure everything is completely dry. The last thing you want in your fridge is leftover moisture because it can cause growth of bacteria and odor and we definitely don't want that in our fridge. If you don't have a microfiber towel, you can also use a cotton t-shirt or a paper towel just to absorb all of the moisture before you start putting your shelves and food back in your fridge. The same goes for everything that you washed in the sink. Even though I was letting everything air dry, it wasn't 100% dry when I was ready to put it back in. So I just grabbed a towel and wiped everything down before placing the shelves back in the doors and the drawers back in the fridge. So my camera decided to die very close to the end of this video, but basically I just finished moving all the stuff that I washed in the sink back into the fridge and then I put all the food that I wanted to keep back in the fridge. But here is a little before and after. I definitely decluttered my fridge and it is so much cleaner now. If you learned something from this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then please hit that red subscribe button down below. If you're a returning viewer and you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching my videos and supporting my channel. With all of that being said, thank you everyone for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!